SmithK861 here and I'm doing a review of the Sony MDR XB500. So now I have a line of apologies in line, so yeah, let's begin. Um, firstly, I'd like to apologize for not making a video for four to six months. Secondly, I'd like to apologize for the poor audio quality because my microphone is not working. Thirdly, I'd like to apologize because this video is going to be relatively unscripted and unedited. Fourthly, I'd like to apologize because my voice is kind of grouchy because I've been sick for the past couple days. Did you get all that? Um, okay, great. So, uh, let's begin. So here are the headphones and we gladly present it with these gigantic ear cups which are about four inches in diameter and one and a quarter inches thick. Now, that was the main selling point for me, mainly because I like headphones that sound great and have great mids and highs without losing that bass. But um, I really recommend these to anyone who is in the professional audio game or just listens to music day in and day out. Um, and these are really comfortable for long term use also. Uh, continuing, we have a little bit of writing on both um, sides of the headphones. Sony is written on both sides. Stereo headphones MDR XB500 is written in metallic on both sides. Now L with a gray dot is not written on both sides and R is written in red on the other side indicating which side the driver is supposed to go on your head. Now um, I'm just going to do the bag real quick before I get back to the headphones um, just so I don't forget. Um, now I, I'm just going to say now I really don't use this bag too much mainly because it kind of defeats the purpose of designing the headphones but I do use it as a microfiber cloth and as you can see there's two materials in here um, you have a little bit of a rougher material on the outside and a really smooth silky material on the inside to keep your headphones clean and it is a drawstring design as you can see moving on um, we have a few downsides to the headphones um, let me get this into focus we have a very thin headband which um, can be made up for because of the massive ear cups um, what I'm saying is that the ear cups are so massive that the headband actually sits above your head if you have it in a higher setting than what you normally would have it in. Um, next, we have the swivel on the ear cup. Um, the angle is just not um, wide enough for me, but um, it does go parallel and kind of stop, which um, is just enough, but I would have liked to see it go a little further. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, but moving on, we have two cords coming from both drivers coming into one cord. Um, I really would have liked to see them go for that one cord design with the disattachable cable on the right driver. But um, you know, you can't get everything in this world. Um, but uh, you also have a quite thin flat wire design. Um, when I measured it, it was about three or four millimeters thick. I could not find the actual information about these, um, about this wire. But, um, it's about four feet long, and um, at the end we have a gold-plated 3.5 millimeter jack, which has these little indentations, which are quite maneuverable and flexible, and it's also very durable. And as you can see, it's a 90 degree angle design. So yeah, that's pretty much it for these headphones. Um, this was really just a test for my new Panasonic GF3X camera. Um, I was just seeing how good of a quality I could get out of it. Um, as I said before, I do not have my mic, so I, yet, I am using the onboard audio on here. Just tell me how it sounds after the video in the comment section below and while you're going down to the comment section hit that subscribe button and that like button um, so yeah I guess that's it for me Smith K61 signing off